Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of wild and crazy kids in love. They love some Wild Card Wednesdays. It's Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah. So for this Wild Card Wednesday, uh, the winner of our poll was Evolution of Godzilla's Atomic Breath comparison. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> of his atomic breath. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to check that out. Um, we haven't checked out a, a ton of Godzilla stuff. So uh, this is going to be some, some new information for us. Um, check out our poll for next week. Uh, go to our channel page and the community tab. We'll have our poll there for uh, for next week's Wildcard Wednesday. You can go ahead and vote on that. Yeah, All you right. should. You should vote. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. It was Earth all along. Nineteen fifty-four. One hundred sixty-four feet. Okay. He's just blowing steam right now. Fifty-five. That's more of like what I think of with like the super old timey guys. Yeah, like yeah. You can't kind of slim down though, a little bit. Hmm. Ooh, first time they fought God's, or King Kong, I guess, 1962. Did a little headbang there. Invasion of Ashlands. I think he's got less. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is he like practicing ballet? I, I don't know. He has less scales on his back. Okay, there we go. That's more of like an atomic breath stream. Oh! Oh! You know, like baby Godzilla? Yeah! He had a little wiggle to his atomic breath. Destroy all monsters. Ooh, now his back really lights up. Yeah. This one looks pissed. Mm hmm. Ooh, now it's more like blue and electric. Yep, a little bit wider too. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's oh, gonna hit the building. So did I. I was like, okay, we just yeah. fuck that building, I guess. All right, now I'm back to, to white. It's the blue. Interesting. I went back to that. Like, when Whoa. it is blue, it seems connected to like <laughs> the force that's lighting up his back. Yeah. That's something totally different. And a Barbera Godzilla, 400 feet. Almost like, I mean, definitely three times the size, but. No, no, not quite three times the size. It's 160. Return of Godzilla. Ooh, it's a skinny okay. little yeah. stream now. Okay, 262. Okay, this is like Godzilla's been working out, Godzilla. Yeah, like exactly. Big pectoral. Mm -hmm. He's been benching in some squats for sure. Yeah. Thick thighs, dude. So Thick that's, Godzilla. That's like Godzilla on steroids. Then. Like the yeah. last one was like beefy Godzilla who's been working out. Yeah. This is workout plus steroids. Oh, oh little Godzilla. Godzilla. Oh my God, this little Godzilla is the same size as like the uh, regular full size Godzilla like early on. Oh, how funny. Godzilla, Godzilla Jr. Jr. 
so he's young. Whoa. Yeah. He's got some power to his his little atomic mantra. breath. Yeah. Skinnier too. Holy shit, nice. Whoa. Give you 28 feet. Oh, I think that's my favorite Godzilla. Burn it all. This is the Godzilla from the movie. I mean, they're all from movies, but like the Matthew Broderick, Matthew Broderick, one. Broderick movie. Yeah, I can see that. Ooh, he's pretty cool. I don't know. He might be my favorite. So yeah, far. he's got the whole like Velociraptor kind of thing. Going yeah, on. I was gonna say, he's got the whole dinosaur thing going yeah. on. No Empire State Building mine. The Godzilla of the series. Ooh, green now. Going for a new color. Yeah. Well, acid. Yeah, they have Godzilla more like hunched up, but that is more like raptor esque. Yeah, like it's also in the way that like he mm. uses his tail all the time yep. too. Cyborg Godzilla. This is the Cy yep Cyber Godzilla. There it is. All right. 115 feet. It's the smallest of the Godzillas. He's very Velociraptory. Yeah, like the full size Godzillas at least. The whole frame of him is very. Mm. And now back to more original. Yeah. All right. That's The cool. Jurassic Park fad died down, so now they're back. Oh, just wait. It's come back. Let's see yeah. what 2021 shows us. Let's see, cool. like, while I like the ones that are more dinosaur-esque, yeah. the first iteration of it was really the best, because then it just got too far removed from what is yeah. Godzilla. True. Ooh. Okay. Still against Mecha Godzilla. Okay. His time breath looks mm -hmm. pretty powerful. Almost look like he's got like I don't know, like a headdress on or something like that. With the way, I was like, thinking the of like around. an Egyptian. Sort yeah. Of, yeah. So, well, final wars, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's solid. Ooh, oh, what? Kick his ass, yeah. Oh, he could go ice it or fire. Changes colors now. Okay, that's the best one. Okay. And the little baby's back. He's just like, and, uh, he's oh, my hero. Close the little ring. I can blow smoke rings, guys. Yep. Oh, there Ooh, we go. Ooh, all right. Does Mini Godzilla have a tail? Let's see a tail. And oh. it grows a little bit later. Holy crap. Oh. Three, that's only 355 feet? I would've thought that would've been the biggest one. That looks intimidating. Not that the other ones were yeah. absolutely terrifying, but. And see, like, he's another one that's a good mashup of, like, the whole, like, dinosaur yeah. lizard thing, but with also classic Godzilla. Well, it's kind of like more like a stegosaurus than it was, like, a velociraptor or something like that. Mm, yeah. Back with the thick legs for the Godzilla. I mean, most iterations of Godzilla, except for the ones that went super velociraptor have been, like, yeah. He's a bit fat bottoms. Yep. He's, he's not necessarily proportional in his physique. Oh. Oh. Now that is an awesome visual. Whoa, is his mouth opening? Yeah. Like splitting. Why? Why is it doing that? So he can unleash oh. more destruction. Oh. Oh, it comes out of his tail, too. Okay. That is an evolution. He's unique. Whoa. He's got fireworks? Oh, he's just him blowing shit up. Fourth of July celebration all onto himself. Yeah. And he was just blowing shit up, or is his fireworks? But still, it's cool. Yeah. And this is weird looking feet. one. Back to the original size. 
but odd looking. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. This is 900 feet? Yep. 984 feet, okay. Good call, but. Holy crap, okay. Ooh. So he works with the power of wind? I guess so. Which is kind of what it was like at first. Oh. Was that his tail? Yeah. Or was that like farts that he just released? The basil geese or whatever from uh, Monster Hunter. Just like Joss Bombs. Yeah. But B54 or whatever. All right. Oh, oh, hell yeah. At first I was like, okay, that was all right, but damn. Whoa. Look at the buildings after that. Like you can see right through them because like all the glass and stuff was just destroyed. Mm -hmm. Why have it just come out of your tail or your mouth when it could come out of your whole freaking body? Ooh. Okay, Snow Godzilla. This one looks like darker. Okay, he's got a suit of armor That's on. Setting. He's also got some intense teeth too. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like maybe this Godzilla needs to go to an orthodontist or something. <laughs> got a, a bit of an overbite too. Ooh, he's not appreciate that. He's gonna shoot his rings of death at you. Ooh, visual. Yeah. He hypnotizes you and then blasts I mean, you. I was like, it's gonna mesmerize you. Yeah. Fell into a burning ring of fire. <laughs> Y'all don't stand a chance. Hmm. And blast it. Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. Well done. That's a cool visual. Yeah. Wow. Very well done. Yeah. Um, super impressive. Uh, and yeah, like that was, that was cool, man. Even not being like a huge Godzilla fan and like, um, you know, not that I don't like Godzilla. It's just, I didn't like really watch like, uh, all the movies, um, never got super into it, but seeing that evolution, um, from like, just like, I don't know, it starts off. It was just white. Like, I don't know, like I said, like steam, like coming out of him. um, to see how big he did grow. Um, and the weird like Jurassic Park inspired Velociraptor uh, Godzilla as well, because like, I kept, like that happened right around like the in the mid nineteen nineties, whatever, like when Jurassic Park uh, had, had had first come out. So I thought this was fantastic. I I also am not a big Godzilla person. Not that I am opposed to it, but it's just yeah. never had a Godzilla as a beast hasn't had a draw for me, like. I would arguably probably be more drawn to King Kong than Godzilla, but even King Kong, I'm not like, oh, any King mm. Kong movie, I have to go out and see it. Like, it, it's not a big, I don't know, I guess, like, in terms of the entertainment evolution and different generations, like, I think they just kind of missed mm -hmm. our generation in terms of that. Um, but this was 
very interesting the the differences in terms of like how it evolved the Jurassic Park inspiration which like clearly took it to a, a different mm-hmm. place um and then it came back to its roots um and I was kind of sitting here thinking like man if you were working on a, a Godzilla project like the idea of of seeing kind of how Godzilla has evolved and how it's been inspired by trends in sort of modern entertainment and whatnot, what do you do with it to keep it constantly fresh, fresh yeah. and exciting for an audience without going too far away from it? Like I referenced liking some of the dinosaur inspired ones, I think because Jurassic Park's like my favorite movie of all time. Mm-hmm. It's at least one of them. And so I grew up with that. I'm, I'm influenced by that. That's, that's exciting to me and accessible more so than Godzilla is. But what I didn't like is like, as they kind of leaned into that, they went really far away from Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Like this really isn't the same lizard anymore at all. Um, so I like when they walked back to that, but then, okay, still trying to find new ways to keep it fresh. And I like the way that they d- played with the atomic breath and the colors and like, the colors on his spikes on his back and stuff to to kind of give it a new look and yeah um i'm also glad that they returned to the fat bottoms godzilla cuz he, he that's what he is yep own what you are godzilla exactly shooting out of its tail too i thought was a was a nice touch and really the most impressive one i mean i like the the fire godzilla when like he i don't know his body looked like it was like had like molten lava like uh on it um that was a cool look but Really, the one where like it exploded like out of all of his like every orifice like of his body, um, every pore, uh, and just came out. And like you said, afterwards the buildings were all uh, just the the skeleton versions of themselves. Um, I thought that was probably the coolest one out of all of them. Uh, the ice and fire that was another that was another favorite. And then the rings. Yeah. I think the ice and fire was my favorite. Yeah. Um, and I was curious. I was like, you know. In terms of approaching Godzilla, you can sort of approach it through mythology. I mean, like he fights a Hydra and stuff, so mm-hmm. there there's a strong myth mythological element here. And you can also explore it through the science. Like, okay, yeah. A lizard that does have this anatomy that has super big hind legs, like what does that mean for what this lizard can do, their jumping abilities? So like, I don't know, I was just kind of thinking, sitting here thinking, like, oh, to be a Godzilla creator and figure out how to approach it and, and like how to make it exciting, but also to justify it. I think a lot of times modern audiences, um, we want justifiable cause to suspend our disbelief. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it makes us as audiences very cynical, right? Because we're not willing (laughs) to buy into things. Um, But I was just like, you know, with Godzilla as an entity, you really can come at him either through the magic of, of what he is or the scientific roots of a lizard like this and, and, what happens if a lizard like this were to be found in a modern day location and yeah. wreak havoc on a city? So I don't know. It's just, it's cool. It kind of makes you start thinking about it. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Evolution of Godzilla. Um, go ahead and check out our poll for next week for Wildcard Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, it's on our channel page in the community tab section. And thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Evolution of Godzilla's Atomic Breath, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. Thank you for voting. Yeah.